you guys, what is up? Why'd you do that? I swear I can't film an intro without anybody saying anything. But anyways, so yeah, got me some sandals on. So I get my kayak today. I just take them off and go. Right, so we're going over down to one of my uh, grandma's ponds, loaded with big bass, right? Like two and three pounders. There's easily like you don't really catch anything small in that pond. That's what I'm trying to say. Like um, I think we're gonna keep some fish, maybe. I don't know. Hold on just a second. much gooder isn't it yeah so anyways um my gopro thing gets smudged up a lot because it's square and the lens is huge but anyways so i'm gonna go get my kayak we're gonna go down to one of my grandma's ponds kayak fish hopefully catch some kansas brutes as flair would say usually nebraska brutes but anyways bring them home catch them or not catch them clean them and then maybe eat them maybe not still show you how to clean a fish so yeah um you guys haven't noticed yet which you probably have it's pretty windy it's like seven or eight miles an hour i'm gonna guess um can't really feel it down here because it's like banked down and stuff up down here but anyways turn on the lights real quick um so yesterday's video the pond was literally glass there was no wind at all and i was still drifting a little bit on my kayak so i don't know how today's gonna go um the bank that i like to fish out fish at is actually um it's blowing it's blowing towards the bank that i like to fish at so that should be a good thing i guess i don't know though so i'm gonna get my fishing line rigged up i would take my ultralight but there's just not very many fish well i mean i could take an ultralight i don't know though because an ultralight is good for some crappie and stuff i don't know how i'd do on like a five pound pass i think i'm just gonna stick with a little orange here they're, they're on the Jeep for some reason. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to stick with that one. Put a, another lure on there and call it good. I'm going to go catch some brutes. Some dads. That's mine. I will see you guys on the water. Ugh. Emma. Emma. Almost off. Alrighty, and we're off. Got a couple bulls in the back. Thought that was a snake, but it's not. And I'm gonna go over there, start fishing. Somehow just caught this crappie in the middle of nowhere. Didn't have my GoPro going because it's been kind of slow. ourselves a stringer here. Oh my goodness. So well this one's super glued together. This one here on the end. I got like hot glue gun though. I don't know bud. I'm swimming. What am I doing? These things are fighting hard. Oh, here's a nice crappie. Good crappie. You got one? Ooh, nice fish. And I'll just put him on the stringer with the other crap happy. Nice. 
set the hook on him. Better though. There we go. Got him. There we go. Yeah. Had one every single cast now. I think he's a bass though. Oh my goodness. Woo! Yeah, he's a bass. He's just a bass though. Dang, what the heck? Got razor blades for teeth, man. Alright, see you later. All I got is weeds. Oh my goodness, I just got another fish. Got another one? Yeah. <laughs> it's big old bass. Hard to land these suckers. That's a healthy bass right there. See this? That's two pounds. I don't know. That's a good fish though. He's probably about a pound. He's the biggest one yet. He's a long one. to the collection. <laughs> Alright. I think I'm done. Uh, I will see you guys in a little bit to go clean some fishy. Alright, guys. So, right now, we have um, five copies, right? Four. Oh, I think we do have five. Okay, yeah. Because you got one. Okay. Whatever. So anyways, we got we got five crappie here, and they're not bad size either. They're long ones. So I show you how to clean one here. Oh, man. I'm gonna try a new method. Going um, um actually going around the rib cage instead of. Instead of just going right through, if you've seen any of my other videos. So these are white crappie here, not black, because not black. Anyways, we'll wipe off my hand. Alright, got some knives here. Alright. So knife is really sharp. So, pretty much, start here, find the backbone. And come through. And then, open that up. And then just... Pretty much just cutting back on this meat.
Well, pretty much what I did is I started how I was going to try to do it, but now I'm going to end. I got to just normally do it. So just come down here. Is that one was just taking way too long. So just come right through the ribs and cut through. Get some of that off. And then don't disconnect your uh, skin here, right there. And you can bend your knife and just follow that skin right down to the end. And your rib cage here, which is already almost cut out because almost done with that first method, but. Well, pretty much, there you got it. That's a piece of white crappie right there. Really good eating. That's, I don't really know what that is. It's just skin, but anyways, that's how you clean a crappie. Um, I don't know when we're going to cook this, so I guess I'll see you when we cook it. Three days later, got some crocs. Let's go cook some fish. All right, so um, this is how we're, we make some uh, relish here for fish so I guess um some or some uh, tartar sauce so some relish um ketchup <coughs> mustard and mayonnaise. And give that a stir. I out a little too much mustard, but that's alright. And that is how you make tartar sauce for your fish. Alrighty, so those are looking pretty done to me. Looking really good, actually. So, I'm just going to let those sit there for a little bit. Just let them drip a little bit and then bring them over to these paper towels so all that grease drains out of them. And then we got some more on the bag here, but I'm gonna let these cool for a little bit and then when they're cool, I will see you guys in a second. Try them out. All right, so we got our uh, piece of fish here. I already kind of tried a little bit, but we're just gonna put a little bit of salt on there and I tear it open. Looks really good. Look how flaky that is. Looks amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. That is really good fish. Um, can the scrappy man. I'm good. So, try it with a little bit of tartar sauce. Yeah, that's good. I already did it. Now? Yeah. Alright, so we just had a little bit more um, breading stuff down in there. And we got some tagies here. Some french fries. Not all of them. That's good. So, that's good. And anyways, um, same thing as the fish, just. Shake it up, and then after our next batch of fish are done, these will be ready for the fryer. It's still raining. It's been raining like this for probably 30 minutes. Something. We got fish cooking. Pretty good night. All right, so we got taties in here. And so, 
Um, potatoes, they retain a lot of water, right? So you uh, don't just lay them in like fish. You have to actually like put the basket up and then lay them on the, uh, like the, um, the basket thing. Just drop them in there and then you want to just slowly dip them down. Got all of them. I think that's it. One more. Alright, so now just pick this up and put them down slowly. And that's how you make french fries. Maybe we can buy some plots down there. Alright, so potatoes looking pretty done, looking pretty good. Split that drain off just a little bit there. And then lay them out on here. Put a little salt on there. <laughs> Dad, quit farting! Alright, so we got babies here. This is a good looking one. So, try a little <laughs> Someone just driving real slow. Anyways, now I'm gonna try some this one. That's pretty good. Um anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um please leave a like, subscribe, little red button right down in the bottom right corner. And peace.